Hi guys, just a quick uh, video now to finish off the mind map on the inner fit. Okay, there's three more headings, two or three small sketches. Okay, I'll put up pictures as well. So look, one that we're very familiar with from the passive house is maximizing the solar gain. So in an older building, you might have to install new windows that could, you know, you couldn't be installing larger windows. You might have to knock down a bit of the wall or whatever, okay? But you're installing new windows slash larger windows on the south facing facade of the house. You can remove internal, obviously non-load bearing walls, okay? So that the sun can reach farther into the house. And then finally, energy consumption reduced as the sun heats the house. So look, that's fairly self-explanatory. Go back to the non-load bearing walls. Okay, there's obviously certain walls in the house that are taking the weight from the roof. So obviously you can't really do anything with them. You can't take them out. So any non-load bearing walls, there's obviously other walls that are dividing rooms. You can obviously take some of them out. So a way of maximizing the gain is to remove ones that aren't load bearing walls so that the sun can penetrate farther back into the house. Okay, a bit of extra then. You can install energy efficient boilers, new boilers. Okay, obviously if it's an older building, more than likely the boilers that are that, that are in place, they're not energy efficient. And as we talked about in the passive house, you can install a ventilation system. Okay, so there's a lot of benefits to that as well, especially reduces your heat loss. Okay, so another way of making your house more energy efficient then guys, is you can install different energy um, efficient renewable sources okay so one way we'd be all very familiar with these they're solar panels you'd see them installed on the roofs of houses guys they're they're really named in, a, in an exam they'd be named solar photovoltaic cells okay so what they do very simply they generate electricity from the sun okay for domestic consumption also guys we're familiar with wind turbines okay so obviously we can see the huge ones up in the mountains you can get a lot smaller ones that can be put in someone's backyard okay they can generate electricity for the domestic consumption as well in the house and then finally there's so solar water heating systems as well such as they're called evacuated tubes so what they do they take the heat from the sun again and they heat up the hot water so for your showers and so on that's um a way of being a more renewable energy source rather than using electricity for hot um, electricity or oil for heating the water okay so I just two small sketches as you can see here for these okay okay very simple sun hitting a solar panel okay and it just into a plug so it shows that it gives you electricity and the exact same thing for a wind turbine okay wind turbine with a cord into an into a plug okay they'd be two simple simple sketches that you could do that would look well in an exam okay so there are the final three headings on the inner fit mind map